Oh, hey there, Chief. You, uh, want some eggs? Uh, no. No, thank you. So, uh, where's Emily? Oh, she's, uh, sleeping off the D I threw her last night. Jesus, that's... wow. Yeah, totally. I'm insatiable. Oh, Master Chief, your suit is very green. Son of a bitch! I remember the Shire. I haven't talked about it quite a bit. We got a situation, boys. Looks like Sweet Tits brought in a whole mess of newbies. Who is Sweet Tits? Oh, what are you, stupid? Emily, the hot new roommate. Well, I don't see why you have to demean her like that. That's not demeaning. She has tits, and they are pretty sweet. I think we can all agree on that. Show some respect! I was just trying to be funny. Gee whiz, you guys. Then what is this situation you're talking about? She brought in new toys, and they're down there. So how did you and Emily meet? Why? You wouldn't be trying to bang her on the sneak, will you? Uh, no. What? I w it's a, that's just something people ask. I wasn't trying to sneak a bang. I would never do that. Never to her, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you, Chief. <laughs> now, we met when she rear-ended me at a red light. I got out the car, I'm all like, you bitch, you crazy bitch, watch the road. You know, this car is worth more money than your life. But then I get up to the window and she is just bawling and, you know, just tears and snot everywhere. So I said, hey, you know what? Dry up those tears, clean up that snot. You and I, we can go get a drink. And the rest? History. Well, that is a storybook. Thank you for sharing that. Well, well, you are one motley crew of plastic. Oh, yes. Thank you for noticing. It wasn't a compliment. He's toying with us. It's a pun! Look, we don't like being here any more than you like having us. Oh, so now our home isn't good enough for you. Master Chief, draw up a formal document of war. Right away. How do I do that? I find it helpful when declaring war to kick a guy into a pit. It's an unambiguous gesture that underscores your lack of mercy to the enemy. This is ironic! Okay, everyone, let's think sensibly about this. There's no need for this to resort to violence. She's right. We can find a better way to deal with our problems. I got nothing. Maybe it's because we're modeled after characters that know only violence. Perhaps we can't stop fighting because we know no other way. Oh shit. Uh. Oh, yeah, that guy's a tool. Oh, yes, he's totally lame. We all make jokes at his expense when he's not around. Oh, it's great fun. Let's all be best friends and make fun of people. Gandalf! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Trent, put some pants on! I got a robe, I'm covered. I can see your balls. Look. We're all friends here. We've all seen balls before. I mean, let's not overreact. Go put your damn pants on. Give me the, give me the plate. Put your pants on. Put your pants on. Windmill! <laughs> this is simple logic. We all like Emily, right? Yes. And Emily likes her toys. So shouldn't that be enough for you guys to at least share the shelf? It's a deal! <laughs> ah. You disagree? Huh. Oh, no, I just like kicking people. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's fallen time. Thanks for dealing with him. <laughs> He's actually really sweet, so. Yeah, he and I were talking about how you guys met, so, uh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I rear-ended him because my grandmother had just passed away and I was crying and just, my mind was elsewhere. So he gets out of his car, sees that I'm crying, then runs into a gas station and buys me a bottle of water and some tissues. He sat with me on the curb while I just sobbed. I was so embarrassed, you know, being that vulnerable in front of a stranger. But I figured anybody willing to do all that has a good heart. So I, Called him up the next day and asked him out. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, 
That's, that's nice. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with him. I think this arrangement's gonna work out good, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unmarked country road where you see them slip.